Hey there, Lisa Sasevich here with your Meant For More moment. I am super excited to share this with you because I think it is one of the fastest ways to see what is it you were made for? What is it that, that that's that gift that is unique to you that is just waiting to help the world in a bigger way? And you know, I always get these little clues when I start percolating on what will be the Meant For More moment for this week. And sure enough, um, the upstairs team did not let me down on this one. So Sunday, I went to my Kundalini yoga class that I love. My friend Kenlin runs this course in San Diego and I adore her as well. And when I'm lucky, she has a little time after class and the two of us get to go and conspire as girlfriends, have some healthy, yummy food and have a little update on each other's lives. So we went to our favorite little healthy food place and we're sharing back and forth. I let her know that I'm heading to Bali for Christmas and New Year's this year. I'm so excited. And she tells me about this fabulous summit that she's doing, an online summit that's all about the divine feminine. And uh, I'm excited. She asked me if I could represent one of the archetypes, um, the queen, she calls. So when that comes out, I'll let you guys know about it. And uh, you can hear all the different feminine archetypes. But the part I want to share with you that has to do with you and what I call your meant for more, that gift that you are meant to bring here to the world uh, to create abundance and prosperity for others and for yourself in all its different forms. Um, is she said to me, you know, I've, I was wanting to pick your brain, keywords, pick your brain. When I hear those, you know, it, it means a lot to me. I'll tell you why. I've been wanting to pick your brain about what I can offer after this telesummit is over that would really, really serve the listeners, the participants that want to take it further. And of course, um, my gift, my meant for more is all around helping you know what you offer, know that you have something to offer and how to package that offer in a way that it really, really serves those people that you were meant to help. So the key here is she said, I was hoping I could pick your brain. And that's the part, there's a few different parts to this, this story, um, but the part I wanna drill down in today and have you start paying attention to if you're interested is uh, when someone says to you, can I pick your brain? What are the places, what are the, when are the times, what are the subjects where people come to you and say, you know, could I just take you to Starbucks and pick your brain for a half an hour about X? You know, is it about how you built your business, how you're killing it with social media, how you lost 20 pounds and kept it off for two years, how you rekindled your marriage after some really hard bumps in the road, how you travel um, on a really low budget first class, how you sold your business and, and then the next one and then the next one at a profit and with harmony. What What is the thing that people always want to know more. Now, the interesting thing about this is in many cases, it's something that it just, it seems easy to you, but, uh, it, but it baffles others. That's why they want to pick your brain. So this, my friends, is a clue that, that, that it is your area of your unique value. You're meant for more, a gift that you have. And when I say that you could create abundance in the world, I mean, you can create abundance by giving that gift to others. And also if it's something that you want to monetize to create your, um, your work, your vocation from, you could create abundance that way. In fact, I've said this before, but it fits really well here. You might be surprised to find out that you can be paid the most for this, this thing that comes most easily to you. So when Kenlin asked me if she could pick my brain about what would be an amazing offer that would really, really serve the participants after this summit, she was, you know, tapping right into my meant for more. Now in our future work, and we'll talk about this more and um, in the book coming out in April called Meant For More, we really go through the process of how to pick your brain. So that when someone says to you, can I pick your brain? You can say, good news, I've already picked it for you. I have the whole process of what you're asking about laid out in a way that you can follow. But we'll get to that later. So for today, the Men For More moment today is for you to take a moment and really start to notice what is the area where people want to pick your brain, where you've had a million requests for Starbucks dates, where you find yourself over and over 
you know, explaining to people and sharing with people your process and how you accomplished X. You know, is it is it that you rebuilt after a really hard breakup? Is it that you um, found your thing and you help other people find their thing? There's so many amazing things that you guys do. And I'll tell you, in the last 10 years, I've worked with, well, we've helped over 15,000 people. And this is the key really, really discovering your unique value. So start to pay attention. Look forward to hearing from you what you're discovering as you dive into this question. What is it that people always want to pick your brain about? Again, it may seem super easy to you, the, whatever this subject area is, but to others, it's a little bit baffling and they need your help. And that's why we're here.